This is an 8-year-old dog that showed pathological symptoms of the central nervous system. It had been checked and given antibiotic and cortisone treatment for 30 days. The dog showed no signs of improvement but instead slowly worsened. When I saw the dog, he had been ill for about four months and was gradually losing balance. When I saw his dilated pupils, I thought it was a problem involving the central nervous system. I explained that in this case the treatment was just an attempt and I was reasonably skeptic about the result because during the 10 days between taking the blood sample and beginning the treatment, the situation worsened. Because I did not hear from the owners for 5 months, I thought my attempt had failed and the small dog had become completely paralyzed. But I was wrong. After 6 months, the owner called me to tell me that the dog had gradually regained balance and now, six months later, was showing small things of relapse and therefore they wanted to do another stem cell treatment. Here he is, the dog at six months, the pupil is normal and above all his walking has improved by 90%. Here to the cells have shown in vivo that they contain the pluripotent component without which the neurological symptoms would not have improved. It is interesting to note how pathologies behind the the blood-brain barrier respond to our non-invasive technique. Here is the dog two years later. He does not run perfectly, but he keeps his balance and the pupil reflexes are normal. The stem cell therapy succeeded in regressing a neurological pathology of the central nervous system that had the tendency to advance and maintained a stable improvement even after two years. This does not mean that all neurological pathologies will respond to blood stem cells, but the very fact that some improve gives new hope and in the future this therapy will be part of every surgical and pharmaceutical protocol in neurology. This does not mean that all neurological pathologies will respond to blood stem cells, but the very fact that some improve gives new hope and in the future this therapy will be part of every surgical and pharmaceutical protocol in neurology.